hello and welcome to my happy home paradise speed build i had a lot of options the evening that i was recording this i was kind of tempted by tabletop games but i'm very bad at making modern builds or um like today builds look good so i decided to settle on something familiar to me something i could turn into a cottage so i picked shari's theme i really like her character design I think that um, the white and the gray and the pink are, are so cute together, so I wanted to build her house based around those colors, and then I thought I could make the flowers based on her shirt. I don't know why I decided to build the house based around what the character looks like, but that's the choice I made. <laughs> I said, white, gray, and pink? Cute color combo. Time to build a house that looks just like you. Imagine if your house looked just like you looked. Wouldn't that be so wild? Oh yeah, I'm gonna build a house and it's got like... Hazel shutters. I digress. <laughs> so, um... I... Oh, the plot of land that I picked, I picked because no one lived on it. And I made the season spring so that the oak trees would be pink. And then I was so upset when I realized that it didn't do that. Like, if you planted the oak trees. I don't know what happened. I even, like, checked. You'll see me later on in the recording. I put down oak trees, and I'm like, there's something wrong here. And <laughs> and I'm like, why aren't they pink? And I checked the season. I'm like, spring is the season of the pink trees, right? So that's me building the house. I thought of a gray a gray um, wall, but I, I didn't like it with the shingles, so I ended up putting a blue wreath to make up for the missing gray. It was the closest thing to gray I could think. I didn't want it to look too like pre-planned, I guess. I didn't like I don't like cobble floors in gardens. So I made the dirt I made the, the paths dirt. This is me picking the trees and realizing, I don't think I'd realized yet. I think I was like getting a bunch of flowers just to place around, you know, for posterity's sake. And I hadn't realized it yet. When you, when I get off this screen, you'll see me go, what? And I check the season. <laughs> and I'm like, oh well, oh well. Um, I picked pink hyacinths and blue hyacinths and white mums. I think that those are such a good combination. I also love the pomeria bushes because um, the blue I picked because if I cannot have gray, then I'm going to have to go with blue. And I think it works all the same. I think it looks fine. <laughs> and why would there be gray flowers anyway? Like what was I really thinking? When I walked in here and I'm like, oh yeah, the flowers will be pink and white, the house will be gray. That'll look so good. <laughs> I didn't go with that thankfully. Um, oh, I love these hyacinth lamps. I think they're so cute. But you know the minute you add lighting to a build, uh, you know, outside or inside or whatever, you have to make it dark outside now? I made it- I, I added lighting, and I was like, brilliant. Now it has to be completely pitch black outside. I don't know when I changed that, but I know I do. I looked through the color options. I liked purple the best. I think it matched her shirt better, and I had purple muns in here anyway, so I think it looks really, really good. I made a little garden that she, um, like, can water or whatever. I, um, have a little river place that I have that she can, like, get water and water those plants, um, by her house. I forgot that watering cans existed, so I got a bucket and a pitcher. I didn't you know, they're in the tools section. That's so far away. Like, how was I supposed to know? I love this garden wagon. Oh my god, I love this garden wagon. It's the best item in the game. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, actually. And the green version is so good for this build because it has white and purple flowers, which are the kind of flowers that she has in her garden. I'm such a genius. <laughs> That's me making it night. I actually made it early morning because I, I thought it looked better. Um placing some more dirt paths. I think it just makes like the the white, the purple flowers kind of pop when you have the um the lights off. I like the um oh, I did lilies of the valley because if someone has a good garden, 
I think they also have a five-star island. Shari has a five-star island, everybody. She has spent thousands of hours perfecting her island. And so she has a, a five-star island, and she has more Lily of the Valleys. She, like, gives them to her friends. This garden gnome, two best items in the game, garden wagon and garden gnome. Is it a coincidence that they both have garden in the name? Absolutely not. You put garden in front of a word, and it is now my new favorite thing. So I picked this garden gnome because he was purple and white. Why? Because it's just like the flowers. Just like the flowers. We're going with a theme and we are sticking with it. What am I, what? Oh, I added weeds. I like the little um, uh, four leaf clover weeds that happen in spring. So I put those everywhere. I think I did some other different ones, but I still made them small. I didn't want them to like be attention grabby or whatever. I just wanted the garden to look a little bit overgrown without looking too overgrown. The idea that I wanted was it to be kind of off, but not really that bad. So I we end up going back inside and we go inside the house. And I used all of the items that she asked for. I think I used the mum cushion twice outside. Or actually. I used the mum cushion in every room of the house. That is also a really good item. I digress. I looked at the new wallpapers that she had picked. I didn't like them that much. I might use the cherry blossom one for a different build, but not this one. I wanted it to look- I, I, the idea that I had was that it's something growing, but it's frozen in time. So like old timey garden on the inside. I picked purple because I thought it was spooky. The music that plays in her house is spooky. I'm gonna be the one to say it. I think it's kind of scary. I did um, ranch furniture because I thought that fit like the old, you know, frozen in time. This frozen in time theme, I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. The pergola, pergola? I put two in here. I was gonna put them in the front to like walk through to get to the back. I was gonna put a kitchen in the back. But when you put pergolas in the front of a build, in the front of the inside of a house, it blocks everything else. Like I could not see anything. So, I moved them to the back, put the kitchen in the back still, um, but now I needed something to put in the front to kind of like stop. There's a void, right? There's the void that happens when you're looking at the front of the build. There's like black all around the house. The, the void scares me, okay? I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I don't like the fact that it looks like I can walk off the side of the house. So I always have to put something like in the front to kind of separate that. You'll see me try something else later on to fix that problem. I really liked these hanging flowers. I thought they really sold the Dead But Alive kind of vibe because the, you know when a rose withers and it's got that like orange, yellow, goldeny color? I, I think that those flowers are, are those. Those are wilted roses. I, you know, that's what they are. I put a bunch of vines everywhere because I wanted it to look like this place had been overtaken by, um, by plants. I just realized, actually, that there's, like, yellow or gold versions of vines that I probably could have used, but, you know, we're gonna let bygones, is that the right turn of phrase? Bygones be bygones? They're green, and it's okay that they're green. Um, that feels like a Shrek thing. Does that happen in Shrek? It's okay to be green? I love that milk glass lamp. I am just going to say. I think the milk, the, is that what that call, that's called? That floral whatever. I like the, the, just the light on top of the table. I think that it's kind of old, but it's like, you know, I don't know. It's really nice though. <laughs> I don't know what about it makes me feel so happy on the inside, but, um, it's, it's pretty good. So they've been using the couches to stop the void. Um, I didn't like the couches. They broke up the room in a bad way. So I ended up just using a partition. I think I used a white one to match the mum cushions and bring some brightness to the front of the room. So it was like bright and then it got darker as you went further into the room. Um, but yeah, I think that's the... I walk around a little bit and then I go upstairs. Yeah, that's the end of the living room. Um, which living room is more of a tiny room if we're being completely honest. So with this room, I was... I was honestly trying to channel my the secret world of Arietti 
um, have you seen the bedroom in that Studio Ghibli film? She's got like a bed and it is enshrouded in flowers and vines and grass. It is full of stuff and it is so nice. It is such a good, good thing. So, um, I got every plant thing I could see. Um, I even grabbed that table, that pansy table. I don't like it. I don't like that table. I put it in the build anyway. The bed that I picked, I picked the bed in the um, mirror because I think that it shows the like old stuck in time. It feels like something your grandma would have. And it was, it was really nice. Now having the idea to build a room covered in plants is a brilliant thought. Doing it is a completely different thought. <laughs> this was so hard. This is not how it looks. I changed it completely. Um, I made that table. I thought it looked so good. And then I was like, time to put the pansy table somewhere. And then that's just ugly, dude. I don't like that table. But it was a giant flower, so it had to go in the build. Um, so I ended up putting it in the corner where you couldn't see it. I am just going to say, though. You could put garden in front of that table, and I would still not like it. Some things can't be fixed. The red mum cushion was a brilliant thought on my part. Um, that's a, it's a good idea. I do really like the rosewood floor. It didn't work in this build. It was too dark. I, and the common floor, I can feel people like being, Oh, you, you, this is the floor that comes in the builds. Well, I mean, whatever. This is me trying to use the pergola again in the front of a build, realizing that it completely cuts off the back of the build. You know when like you make the same mistake twice and you're like, how could I be so stupid? You know, that's what I just did. You just watched me do that. I just went, oh wow, let me put pergolas in the front of the build. Oh, it looks bad? When, when could I have figured this out? Also, you can't put anything in a pergola. I'm, I've said it so many times that I feel like I'm not saying it right anymore. Pergola? I don't know anymore. You can't put items inside of them. Which, I mean, makes sense. You gotta walk through them. But, um, it would've been... Guys, listen. I'm not gonna point fingers or anything. But if the bed would have been inside of the pergola... So good. It would've been such a good... It would've looked so good. I just made it to where you can't get on the bed. I wanted it to look enshrouded, like it was covered and stuff. Um, so that's what I did. I put a bunch of vines everywhere to add to the fact that, um, it was enshrouded in plants. This is a lot more vines than I had in the last room. I wanted this room to look a little bit more overgrown. Like, maybe Shari has guests over on the bottom floor, and they're like, Hey, do you have, like, there's, like, stairs. Where do the stairs go? And she's like, I don't have stairs. There are no, there are no stairs in my house. Because she does not want anybody up here. She has not maintained this room in years. I covered that wall in plants because it needed something. Um, I think that the actual number, I think that's 24. Correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like it's 6 by 4. 6 times 4 is 24. Yeah. I did a floral scones. Scones? I don't know how to say that word, but it's so fun. Scones. <laughs> um, I put fans to make all of the bushes go whoosh. You see them? They just did it. You just see the go whoosh. I put the music players so that the song would play in this room also. It's so scary. I like it so much. I like the way that it whooshes. I think that's so sweet. That's so brilliant. Yeah, no, the whooshing is so good. Um, and I made the room sound, I made the um, atmosphere be rain. Cause I just think it sounds so good. Um, and now she's gonna walk around the build, I think. That was it. I, uh, she walks around it, she teleports under the pari pr the square flower thing. <laughs> um, I don't know how she got back there. She probably climbed over the bed or something. I don't she jumped or something. I don't know. Um, I certainly can't get back there. But she finds a way.
And then I took a photo. I uh, really like the painting filter. Um, and I just think it looks so good. So I picked it for the Happy Home Network. And that's all. Bye.